Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use our new premium widget called Image Title Hover. So you guys can find this widget in our online shop. Link is below the video. Okay, so what do we get with this widget? Uh, whenever we we hover over this this images, you get your mouse on top of these images, then a cool effect will appear and some text will appear. Like this. And this. So not only you can choose the same color, the boxes, but you can play with the different colors. So I'm going to open Muse. This is our demo here with our widgets, but I think I'm going to start from scratch. So I'll, I think I'll explain it better. I'm going to drag the widget. And as you see, this is the widget and here we have a rectangle and a text frame. These two elements, you can edit them completely in Muse. So this image here, what you're going to do is you can just fill it with any other image that you want. So I'm going to fill it with this image over here and I'm going to leave it to scale to fill and the position exactly that one. And the text frame here, I'm going to open the text tool. So I'm going to change the font here and I'm going to change it to this web font. So make sure the font you're using is a standard font with the fallbacks or uh, you've converted that font into a web font. Otherwise, Muse, what it does, it exports this font into an image, so this widget won't work. This widget ne needs fonts, not image, okay? Because as you remember, what it does is an image and then it shows the text here. If this is an image, then it won't work. So that's the first thing you need to take into account. So I'm going to change this to, to this font over here, which is already a web font. Bring up the size. And I'll leave this like that. Oops, sorry. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the widget option. So as you can see here, first thing we see is a graphic style name. So this widget works with graphic style. Each image, each rectangle, it has a graphic style applied. I'm going to open the graphic styles tab here. So you can see if I click over the rectangle, it has this one applied here. So what you can do is we can change the border color. Um, let's change this to a dark blue. I'm going to copy this. You can play with the opacity with the border height. I'm going to make this a bit more obvious so you understand and this one, this same color over here. So let's preview this. So this is what you get. This is the border. So the, the more you increase it, let's say I'm going to add to 120. I want to make it even more obvious. Okay, so you guys understand the meaning of the border height. Okay, so just imagine what you can do here is you can ap apply as many graphic styles as you want. So just imagine that um, I want a, a second element. A second element with with, 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 with the same color. So what I'm going to do is I can copy the widget. I'm going to add a bigger break point. going to make this a bit smaller. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I just can change the picture. Okay, so 
I can you can change the text. And you can see to make sure open the graphic styles tab so it has the same graphic style as before applied. So we had this blue color and here we have the same blue color. But what you can do is apply a, a new graphic style with different colors. So for that, what we have to do is I'm going to wait, I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to make our workspace a bit bigger. So I'm going to copy the widget and I'm going to drag it down. So what I'm going to do is uh, first thing. Let's make this a bit wider. So first thing is I'm going to rename it. The easiest way is just adding numbers. All right. So I'm going to add number two. And I want to change the color a little bit. Let's go for a pink and let's get this back to 55 and add the same pink just a bit darker so what we have to do is copy this graphic style and go to the graphic style tab create a new one and just paste the name so right now we have two graphic styles this first rectangle has the first graphic style second one two and the third one doesn't right now so what we have to do is click on this one over here oh so this might happen so what you have to do is just attach the picture again. I'm going to choose this other one. Okay. So make sure this works. Let's preview. Okay. Same graphic style, same graphic style, and this should be different. Yes, this is pink. Okay, so you can resize this widget, but make sure that if you set the rectangle to responsive width, the text should be set exactly the same. All right. So if you want to, I'm going to, this one is responsive width. This one is going to be set to none, both of them. Just make sure otherwise the widget will crash and it will not work. But for example, if you want to stretch it to browser's width, um, then the text should be set to responsive width. I'm going to show you what happens in this case when you stretch it to browsers width too. So this is what happens. The widget is crashing. The text is not supposed to show from the beginning, but it does. And you can see the image. How it's really not. Oh, sorry. The image probably because of this. So what I'm going to do is stretch it to responsive width as the rectangle is stretched to browser width. So preview this again. And this is how it works. So I've been ignoring the, the warnings before, but I just consider it not important. It had nothing to do with this, with this widget. It's just Muse warning me about a font. So remember, guys, use uh, fonts with standard fonts or convert them into web fonts. Also, remember to resize this widget the same, the text block and the, 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 the sorry, the text block and the rectangle. Remember, you can create as many graphic styles as you want. But what you have to do is remember, copy widget and rename the graphic style if you want to change the color easiest way is uh, changing the number all right so hope you guys like the widget if you have any comments or you have any doubts you can post the comments here in the video thank you very much for watching